Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this 3D card as an alternative using the October 2019 paper pumpkin kit. I hope you'll stick around and see how I made it. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, I hope by the end of this video that you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, I'm so glad you're back. As I mentioned in the intro, I am back today to create another alternative using the October 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit. Previously from this kit, I have created three cards. The first one was following the instructions given with the kit, and the other two are alternatives that I came up with. I will have these videos linked in the description box below if you want to check these out. Today's alternative is inspired by my late Dutch mother-in-law. When I visited her almost two decades ago, she taught me a craft that she enjoyed doing. I'm not sure if it's still big in Europe. If it is, you'll have to let me know below. I don't actually know the name of it, but what she would do is take probably three to four of the same image and cut out different portions to make a 3D effect. And I thought with the focal point on the kit this month, this would be a great opportunity to try it out. Since I don't really need nine to 10 of the same card, I will be using two of the cards from the kit as well as this scrap that I kind of messed up on. When I was creating my shaker card that I shared with you earlier, I ruined the first one so I had to recut one. So I will be using this for one of the layers. Some of the other items from the kit I'll be using is the Knight of Navy stamp and spot. I will be using the snowflake dotted background stamp from the stamp set and I will be using the mini dimensionals that came with the kit. Right now I really don't know what sentiment or how else I'm going to decorate it once I have the 3D effect, so later on in the video during the voiceover I'll let you know about anything that I add. The items that I'll be using from my stash are my Versamark Dazzle ink, and I'm going to be using Winter Wonderland Opaque Embossing Powder. This is from Stampendous, and it's a white embossing powder, but it also has silver flakes in there. So I thought that would go well with the silver foiling in this month's kit. Once I start the process video, I will go to a voiceover. So if you have a question that I do not answer in the voiceover, make sure to leave that in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Are you ready to get started? The first thing I'm going to do is cut out my layers. I folded the first card base and then on this second one I am going to cut out around both of the trees. I originally planned to cut kind of the snowy area underneath it but you'll see later that I change my mind. Now when I'm cutting these I try to get as close to the image as possible but because these trees have kind of a shadow it was a little forgiving. Next up, I cut out the left tree from my oval scrap piece of paper. This will end up being my uppermost layer on the 3D effect. To add some shine to the snowy parts of the trees, I got out my white stickles and just put down dots of the glitter glue and then spread it out with the tip of the bottle. I thought since this card is pretty plain and simple that this would add a little shine. Once I had that done, I placed these to the side so they could dry. While those were drying, I went ahead and got the rest of the card ready. I am using the Versamark ink to stamp the snowy background around the top edges of my card. And then like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using that white embossing powder that has just a little bit of silver in it to heat emboss the snowflakes. And here we can watch the magic happen. I just love this part of embossing. Let me know below if you enjoy heat embossing and if you think it's just as magical as I do. Now 
And now it is time for my sentiment. I am going to stamp this straight down onto my card base and because I'm going to be using some red pigment ink, I want to make sure that this gets nice and deep color. So I did use my stamp positioner so that I could stamp it multiple times and get a nice shade of red. Now they no longer sell this stamp positioner, but I do have the Misty linked below if you wanted to check it out. It is nice to have this sometimes when you need a double stamp or if you're mass producing cards. Next up, I decided that I wanted to add some of the snowflake sequins that came with the kit to the front of the card. Because things are more pleasant in odd numbers, I did add three snowflakes using those mini glue dots that came with the kit. Once the stickles were dry on my tree layers, I started to put together my 3D focal point. The first thing I did was use the mini dimensionals from the paper pumpkin kit, and I placed those on the card base where I knew that first layer of trees would hide them. Once I placed the first cutout pieces, I then did the same thing for the top level, but this time I only put the dimensionals where that single tree on the left would cover it. I love the dimension that this technique gives the card. To finish the card off and to bring in some more of the red, I placed two of the birds from the kit on my trees. I just put those mini glue dots where I wanted each of my birds and then placed those by hand. And here's a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed that look at how I created this 3D card. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.